All right, so we are going to do some metabolic conditioning today. So we're gonna set up this workout with three circuits, three primary circuits with three movement patterns each. We're gonna repeat them twice through in total. So let's just walk in, set up the workout as we get warmed up here. Just standing nice and tall, just walking those feet out wide. If you don't have a step today, that's fine. You could also use the seat of a chair for some of the movements that we do for our metabolic finishers or place your hands on the floor for added challenge. Take a little hamstring curl right here. And in terms of our weights today, because we are gonna be moving at a more faster tempo, doing higher reps, because we're focusing on creating more metabolic demand to improve our capacity, you might wanna go with a more moderate weight level versus when you're training for strength. So perhaps go a little bit lighter, knowing that you can always adjust up or down throughout the workout as you need, okay? So just keep listening to your body, make everything work best for you. Give me a side to side toe tap, just pointing through those toes. Take a nice deep breath in. Good. Exhale, press it out. Nice. So while we are going to be moving fast today, we are still going to take our time and stay calm and strong throughout this routine. One more breath. Good. Press it out. Nice. Just taking a little shoulder circle. You got it. So just remembering that this is your workout and you know your body best. So I want you to just keep adjusting and adapting, making everything work best for your body's needs. Take a little rotation here through your hip and heel. Just starting to add a little reach across, opening across that upper back. Nice, just a few more here. Feel that twist open. Good. Walking it back to the center. Let's get a little closer to the step if you're using it. If not, you can just reach your hands down towards the floor. Ready, we're gonna sit back into a squat, take it down, circle back, good. So as we go through the workout today, I want you to be kind of thinking about this idea that some days we are going to take on a challenge. We're working on building our stamina and our capacity to do harder things. And sometimes when we face those challenges, we really try to struggle against them and we kind of bear down and grind. Let's see if today we can't just lean into that challenge, feel that extra strength, but tap into our internal power to help us conquer whatever challenge we're facing, not only in our workouts, but also in our lives. Let's take our hands on top of our thighs, take a little tailbone tuck right here, contract those abdominals, little tuck under, stretch that low back, Good. You got it. That's it. Now stay in your squat. Keep your spine nice and neutral. Just sit back in those hips. Starting to feel those thighs waking up. Good. Hold it down. Lift your chest. Roll it up. Let's walk it in. Good. Just go ahead and stepping up onto that step. If you're not using a step, you're just gonna step on the floor. Take one foot forward, and we're gonna lift up and squeeze through the glutes, tap back down. So again, if you're just on the floor, just step forward, straighten your standing leg, and tap back. Good. A little bit faster tempo for four, three, two, one. Come on down, switch legs. Tap and squeeze. Good, squeeze through your glutes. As you stand up, pull up through the top of that thigh, get a full extension of your knee. Little bit faster tempo. Four, three, two, one. Let's take it back, hold it out. Nice, side to side step taps right here. Good, so we're gonna get ready to move into our first circuit already. And I just wanna remind you, that if your body needs a little bit more time to warm up today, you can take the first circuit with just your body weight only and just continue your warm up that way as well. So know that's an option for you. If you are ready to go, we're gonna pick up our more moderately heavy weights carefully. Make sure you use your legs to pick them up. Come on up to the step or to the floor. We're gonna take a rear stepping lunge. So we're gonna step back. Slow tempo to start. We step back, down, stand strong and tall. Step it back, stand strong and tall. Good, get that full extension of your knee. 
And I want you to really focus more on the quadriceps here. So we have slight hip hinge in the, hip, in the hips here, but nothing too major. If you start to feel more glutes, bring your body more upright if you can. Good, two more at this tempo, and then we'll pick up that pace a little bit. So remembering that we're changing tempos to change our intensities as well. Ready, taking it up to tempo, here we go. Up and down, get a full range of motion though. Squeeze, good, drive down through that heel. Up, good, two more. Feel that heart rate coming up. Last one, hold it at the top. Take a second to switch it out, slow to start. Here we go, step it back, down, strong and tall, good. So watch that upper body, watch your knees, tracking straight forward here. Push down and squeeze, good. Driving through, standing heel, pulling up through the top of that thigh. Remember, if you're doing this on the floor, you're just stepping straight back, then bringing your foot into the other one. Down, one more, then we'll pick up that pace. Are you ready? Here we go. So you're gonna hear me doing some heavy breathing today. That's what this metabolic conditioning is all about. Good. Four more, you got this. Drive down strong. Two more. Last one. Hold it, come on down to the floor. Turning the palms forward. Hinge from your hips. Give me a bent over row now. You can stay with just the row, or add a little bit of a squat down and up. Keep the spine nice and neutral. Hinge in your hips. Good. Squeeze those shoulder blades back and together, focusing on those big flat muscles in our back. Good. Stay with me here. Two more. Now, keeping it going, turn your palms in. We're gonna alternate an upper back row. These are a little heavier, so be careful. See how this feels to your upper back. Send your elbows back on a diagonal behind you. We're alternating because it's heavy. Good. Nice. You got it. Pull back. Beautiful, two more. Nicely done, set one weight down. We're gonna take a little cross chop squat, holding at either end. You could also clasp your hands together and do this without weight at all. Working through those obliques, little explosive energy, chop it down and back. Think of going from your shoulder to your hip, like you're clicking your seatbelt on. <sighs> Sit back in that squat, spine is neutral. Cross that weight across the body. Keep the core braced in, nice and tight. Two more on the side. Take a second. Deep breath, other side. Let's do it. Sit back, take it to that hip. Good. Chop it, keep your core strong. Feel that activation on a diagonal line. Shoulder to hip. Good. You got this. Last two. Okay, carefully and quickly set your weight down. Here's our metabolic finisher. This is where we wanna get a little breathless. If you get there before the time is up, take a recovery. If you need to go longer, go for it. You set the speed. In three, two, one, let's go. Side to side, mountain climber. Push off your feet. You're gonna jump as light as you can. If you're modifying, your hands are on the seat of your chair, or for more intensity, your hands are flat on the floor. Push off those feet, think diagonal, line through your heels. This is where we wanna get breathless. This is where we wanna amp the intensity. Trying to tap into that anaerobic energy system, even if it's just for a couple seconds before we move on. 30 second mark. If you're still going with me, we're gonna to try to get 45. Your call. Whew. 45 right here, come on up. You should need a second to catch your breath. Towel off, grab water if you need it. Deep breaths. K, 
carefully pick up your weights. Now, if you need more recovery, you stop the video, you use body weight, whatever you gotta do to recover just a little bit before we go back to those rear stepping lunges. When you're ready, we're stepping back with this leg. Slow, stand strong, deep breaths. So remember, don't fight the challenge. Tap into your inner power, your inner strength that's already within you. See if you can tackle this big challenge today. I know you can. Full extension of that standing knee. You're stepping back up here on the floor, speeding it up. Ready, up. Okay, you got it. Drive down to that standing leg. Heart rate's coming up. You got this. Full range of motion. Last two. Take it up. Take a breath. Switch legs. Slow down. Stand strong. You got it. Take it down. Watch your upper body. If you're getting tired, don't let that happen. Chest is open. Stay in the front of that thigh. And your standing leg. Come on, I'm right here with you. I'm working hard too. Let's do this. Down. Two more at this tempo. Good. Last one like this. Get ready. A little faster. Yes, you can. And faster is relative. You go as quickly as you can, safely, through a full range of motion. Good. Last one. Take it back. Back to that bent over row, palms forward, hip hinge. Start with just your row, pull the shoulder blades back into the spine. Optional, squat to pull back. Keep that neutral spine though. Keep that hip hinge strong. You got this. Pull with that back. Nice. Deep breaths. Four more like this, and we're gonna go that upper back alternating. Two. Good. Taking those palms forward and in. Alternate it back. Diagonal pull. Focus on that upper back. Relax your chin to your chest. Aiming that elbow back on a diagonal to where the wall meets the ceiling. Yes, good. You got this. Take it back. Last set here. Finish this last one. Set one of those heavy weights down. Getting ready for that cross chop. Sit back. Here we go. Nice and quick. Diagonal line. Deep breaths. Yes, good, keep going. You got this. Sit back into it. Get ready, hold it, switch it out. Neutral spine, shoulder to hip. Chop it. Good, big as you can. Come on, you're there. All right, set that weight down carefully. Quickly back to those diagonal mountain climbers. Floor or chair, 30 or 45 seconds. Deep breaths, ready. Let's do it, here we go. Push off the feet, light as you can in your legs, which means we gotta keep our arms strong, weight out of the wrists. Thinking of pushing away from my step or the floor or the seat of the chair so I can bound freely through my feet. This is your 30 second mark right here. Keep going if you're going to 45, or take a breather. Three, two, now take your breath. <sighs> Recover, okay. Let's take a minute, 
Again, evaluate. Do I need more time? Do I need to pause? Do I need to use body weight? Only you know the answer. Grab one heavier weight. Going back to those legs so you know that's gonna be another challenge on the heart rate. Coming back, we have a side-stepping squat. Holding that weight here. We're gonna go down on one, up on three. Slow to begin. This leg's gonna step down first. Or you step out to the side if you're on the floor. It's down. Two, three, and sit back. Slow stand, squeeze your inner thighs to bring that foot together into the standing leg. Down, breathe. Four more like that, four. Squeeze, pull up through that standing leg, nice and strong. Three, full extension of the knee. Two, one more like that, then you know we gotta rep this. Ready, eight singles. Eight, seven, full range of motion still. Stay with me. Four, three, two, hold it, take a breath, lean into the challenge. Stepping out, down on one, up on three, let's go. Down, up, two, squeeze. Feel the difference between those sides. What's happening on this leg? Good. Stand strong and slow. Extend that knee fully, pull up through the quads. Good. Two more like that. One more like that. Get ready. Eight singles, you can do it. Squeeze those inner thighs, bring the heels in. Four more. Deep breaths. Two more. Hold. Carefully and quickly, weight goes to the side. Have a seat on your chair, on the floor, or on your step. We're going to the abdominal wall. We're gonna crunch and pulse in, two, back. Focus on the abdominals, not the legs, not the hip flexors. They're helping a little bit, but I want you to focus on bracing in through that core. Last one, then we'll single it out. Singles, eight, still control, seven, six, use your abdominals, four more, two. Now, take a breath. We're gonna grab those heavy weights, stay on the floor. We have heel bridge and alternating chest press. Your feet could be on the floor if you're not using your step. You're gonna flex your feet in the same way. Lie on back, dig your heels, arms up, hips up. We're gonna alternate lowering one arm at a time into a chest press, taking the hips down and up. You got it. Squeeze nice and strong. Keep going. Get that other arm up nice and strong right above your chest. Bridge doesn't have to be high, but squeeze those glutes. Good. Last two like this. Now give me both arms down and up right here. Last eight, seven, press with your chest. Six, five, four, three, two, last one. All right, all right, come on up, set your weights somewhere they're out of your way. We have a plank position, squat jump in and back. Hands on the floor makes it harder, hands on your chair makes it a little more supported. When you're ready, here we go, in, out. Now, you can go faster, you can go slower, you could walk this. Tap in to whatever energy you have left in your tank here. We're heading into the home stretch of the workout, but we're not quite in that last lap yet. So we gotta keep enough energy in the tank to finish strong. Land light, deep squat, jump back to your plank. Now hold your plank, this is 30 seconds. I'm gonna cut this one short for you. Walk it in, you're welcome. If you wanna keep going, you could, but I want you to recover for a sec. So we're gonna go through that round again. So I want you to have enough energy to do it. 
Careful, quickly. One heavy weight. Deep breaths, come on back. We're gonna start with this leg stepping down. Shoulders back, deep breath. Down on one, up on three. Two, three, squeeze. Sit back in your hips. All right, refocus your energy. What did you come here for today? Make sure you're getting it. Good. Sit back, squeeze. Up. Two more at this tempo. Sit back into it. One more like this. Get ready. Eight singles. Let's do it. Four more. Two more. Take a breath at the top. Get ready. Down on one, up on three. Here we go. Down, two, three, stand tall. Straight up, energy through the crown of your head. Focus on that standing leg, doing most of the work. Good. Back, up. Squeeze through that inner thigh. Two more at this tempo. Down, this is our last time through, last side through. Get ready. Eight singles, you can do this. Eight. Good. Four more. Two. Hold. Set your weight down carefully. Seated, floor, step or chair. We're gonna go right into that single count. Be sit up, ready? Hinge it back, lift. So don't worry about going too far back. Focus on that lift in. Brace in, strong. Strong, contract. You got eight more just like that. Eight, seven, six, Five, four more, focusing in because we got one more of those intervals. For that squat, jump to plank. Ready, step it out. Plank position. Oh, just kidding, we're gonna the plank bridge first. We're gonna do that in a second. I didn't forget. All right, come on back. Heels on the floor, on your step, or on your chair. Bridge and hold, start with your back arm. Down, lift. We do still have that metabolic finisher. But we gotta finish the circuit first, right? Breathe. Keep going. Squeeze. Good. Squeeze through those glutes to lift those hips. Get ready. Give me both arms right here. Down, lift. Four, three, two, one more. Now we're gonna go out to that plank. All right, bring it up carefully, clear your weights, come out to your plank, on the floor, on the chair, or on the step, light on those toes, we're shortening it to 30 seconds. Ready, let's do it. Fast as you can, light as you can. So land softly like you have neighbors underneath you, whether you do or you don't. Try not to slam into the floor, float it. Strong arms. Almost there. Four, three, two, hold it. 30 seconds, breathe. Come up, grab your light dumbbells. We have one more set to get through. Circuit three. Focusing a little bit more on small, smaller muscles to so go a little lighter. We have a step up and curl, slow step up. Come up, two, three, and down. Now you could tap your toe on the step if you need it, or try to balance. But get that full extension. Focus on the glutes, standing you up here. Curl, palms come up, or you can stay neutral if that feels better. Two more like that. Up, last one like this. 
Now we're gonna take it singles, curl the press as we step up. So it's curl, press, down, step back. Curl, press, palms are more in neutral, if that feels okay to your shoulders. Keep focusing on standing strong and tall through that standing leg. Good. Full extension at the top. Two more, nice and strong. One more time. Get ready. Steady the foot. Come back. Other side. Up. Two. Three. Tap down. Up. Two. Three. Tap. Up. Two. Three. Tap. You got it. Squeeze. Four. Three. Two more. Good. Last time like this. Get ready for that curl to press step up. Curl, press, step back. Good, lift. Stand it nice and tall at the top. Remember if you're on the floor, you're just stepping forward into it. Tap. Two more. Last one. Now hold it right here. Just give me a press. The great news about this third circuit is we're only doing it one time through. So we wanna make sure that we really rock it all the way. Four more overhead presses, then we're gonna work those triceps and continue in those glutes. Ready? Now, take this to the floor if you need to or float that back leg off the step. We're gonna tap down, extend out. Down, one, two, down. One, two, down. So you're extending through the backs of those elbows, backs of the triceps, tap down. Two more on this leg. Hold, switch legs, same movement, other side. Tap, up, two. Tap, sit back in your hips. Give me that nice hip hinge, nice neutral spine. Drive through your heel, stay in your glutes on the standing leg. Focus on those triceps. Two more. Good. Now hold it here, feet together. Kick it back, single counts. Seven, six, full extension. Send your pinkies to the sky. Four, three, two, one, nice job. Setting one of those weights down. We have an uppercut, hold it like a baseball bat. Think under and up, hips are gonna stay steady. So oppositional movement to what we did in that first circuit. Go hip to shoulder now. Power through those legs. Under and up, squeeze. Take a second, switch sides, switch your grip. Under and up. So it's a little squat, sit back, scoop, scoop, hip to shoulder, cross it. Good, nice. And hold your last cardio finisher, last metabolic finisher. Power knees, one foot on that step or the floor. Power it up, stay in that leg, drive the knee up. Keep going. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Come down, switch legs. Other way, up. Good. You got it. Eight more. Six, five, four, three, two. Now we're just going to alternate it. Step. Good. You got this. Final finisher, we got a set of jumping jacks. Three, two, on the floor. Here we go. Finish it. Four, three, two, saved by the bell. That is our cool down song. So take a moment just to breathe. If you wanna clear your step out of the way, you can. 
Just keep moving, catch your breath. So we're gonna take a moment and then come on down to the floor for a sec. But we wanna make sure our breath is recovered reasonably before we head to the floor. So deep breaths, in and out. Deeply in through the nose as best you can, out through the mouth. Good. Shoulders up and back. If you feel comfortable heading to the floor, let's do it. If you need some more time standing, hit pause or just join us when you're ready. Come on down to the floor. We're still in cool down mode. We're gonna work a little bit of strength to finish with our mobility here. So still working on the upper back, thumbs are up. Extend away from the floor, pull your shoulder blades back and together. Release it down, pull back. Exhale up. Release it down, get those posture muscles. Shoulder blades drawing back in and towards the spine. If you want a little more out of this, start to just add the legs a little bit, squeeze the glutes. Low back kicks in. Now we're getting more of those muscles that line the spine as well. Keep pulling those shoulder blades back and in though. Okay. Holding this one at the top, pull your shoulder blades back and in. Squeeze, feel the heat, feel the strength. Feel the capacity that you just created. Relax it down. Sit your hips back towards your heels. Tuck your toes under. Give the bottoms of your feet a little stretch. Rounding through that back. Coming up onto all fours. Just opening one arm up to the sky. Take it down. Other side. So again, still just slowing down the breath. Recovering the heart rate. One more to both sides. Open up. Switch it out. Nice, let's step one foot forward. If you'd like, you could do this into your step for a little support, into your chair. Take it to the other side. If you need something under your knees, put something underneath your knees. Just make yourself as comfortable as you can. Switch it back. Let's just step up one foot at a time, hands on top of those thighs. Again, rounding through that spine. Arch, extend one more. Round, extend, rolling all the way up, standing as tall as we can through that spine. Stretching one arm out and over. Release that top arm, stretch it the other way. One final deep breath in here, opening across your chest, inhale. Exhale, round, palms together at heart center. Circle those wrists. Thank you so much for all of your hard work and effort today. I know this was a tough one. Thanks for hanging in there with me. You're doing an awesome job. Please keep taking great care of your body and your health. Can't wait to get moving with you again soon. See you soon, guys.